and girls and welcome to this week's assembly. Now, I thought that this week in assembly we could concentrate on the character strength, humour. Who doesn't like to laugh? It makes you feel good. Did you know that you can use your character strength humour to create more happiness? So I've got some year six friends here today to help me tell a funny story. Our story this week is by Kez Gray and Fred Blunt and it's the diddle that don't dare to be different. The diddle that don't. Flitty Bo Diddle was writing a tune for his fiddle and it was going very, very well. Diddle, diddle, diddle. Diddle, 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 not a dumb. Sorry, said the diddle that dumbed. I'm not like other diddles. Sometimes I like to go dumb. Go dumb, frowned Flinty. Go dumb? You can't go dumb. You're a diddle, not a dumb. I put you in the middle to go diddle, not dumb. Let's try again, said the diddle that dumped. You did it again! gasped Flinty. Did I? said the diddle at dumped. Yes, you definitely did said all of the other diddles. It was just as we got to the middle. Instead of going diddle, you definitely went dumb. Won't a dumb do? asked the diddle that dumbed. Of course a dumb won't do, shouted Flinty. The tune for my fiddle is a tune full of diddles. Diddles that go diddle 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 all the way to the end. Try me at the beginning said the diddle that dumbed. If you put me at the beginning, instead of the middle, maybe I'll remember to go diddle. Flinty rearranged his diddles and tried again. Duh. You did it again, growled Flinty, shaking his fiddle. Try me at the end, said the diddle that dumbed. Okay, where did this one out, boys? Okay, so. Diddle, you did it again, hollered Flinty, jumping on his fiddle. Sorry, said the diddle that dumbed. Maybe we should change the tune. Change the tune, said Flinty. What do you mean, change the tune? I mean, maybe instead of us all going diddle, perhaps we could all go dumb. Hmm. Flinty for long and hard. Do you know, it might just work, he said, but it will never be a tune for my fiddle. It will have to be a tune for my drum. Dum. Dum, 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 dum. Diddle! 
Now, look what you did, Rage Flinty. Now, instead of going dumb, you went diddle. Sorry, said the diddle that dumbed, but now diddled. I'm not very good at this, am I? Please, can I go to the loo? Yes, please, can we all go to the loo too? Asked the diddles, the diddled, but now dumbed. If you must, sighed Flinty, if you must. Piddle, 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 so, I hope you enjoyed this week's story, the diddled, the dumbed, as much as I did. And I think this week, you could have a think about using your human character strength. See what you could do for the week. Maybe you could note down things that you find funny. Perhaps you could read your favourite comic, or look at a funny picture, or watch a funny television programme, or a funny movie. Maybe you could tell and share some jokes. I've got one for you. You ready, boys? How many times do you have to tickle an octopus to make him laugh? Eight, Eight times. Eight times. How many? Tentacles! <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else got a joke? Got one. Got one. Got another joke. I don't know. Why did the chicken cross the road? To go to KFC. Oh. <laughs> Anybody else got a joke? What do you call a wet paper? I don't know. What do you call wet paper? Terrible. Oh. What did What did the wife, the farmer's wife, say to him? I don't I'm know. attracted. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Anybody else got one? Yeah, one and um, What do you call a man with no, uh, no arms? I don't know. What do you call a man with no arms? Uh, Tom. Knock knock. <laughs> <laughs> Who's there? Not Tom, because he hasn't got any arms. <laughs> <laughs> Rollo's got one. Magic for Rollo's joke. <laughs> what do you call a dog that does magic tricks? No, I don't know. What do you do? Uh, Labra, Cadabra! <laughs> <laughs>